Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to see the exercise 10.1 first problem. In this problem, we have to find the probability distribution of the number of sixes in throwing three dice at once. Firstly, we know that there are six numbers in the dice, so I'll write it as S is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the probability of getting a 6 is we know that there are six numbers as a whole and to get six it is one by six yeah which will mark it as p and also the other way around probability of not getting six is which is p dash i will mark it as q which is these five out of the whole six which means five by six right then let x denotes number of sixes when throwing three dice once either there can be no sixes at all so it is it could be zero or there could be only one six or can there can be two sixes or all three can be a six yeah these are the four possibilities here so firstly i would write it as p of x is equal to zero that is we assume that we didn't get any sixes at all that means probability of that is q here right all or q q q q which is equal to 5 by 6 into 5 by 6 into 5 by 6 which is equal to 125 divided by 216 the next possibility is there is only one p that is only one six that means p of p q q which is equal to this can be in any order there can be like six and a non six number and a non six number or non six number and then six and then a non six number so it this can be in any order right so what we need to know is the term p q q can be arranged in three factorial ways and these two q's two q's can be arranged in two factorial ways this is very important you have to remember this then in that case it will be this will become 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial and then the probability of p that is 1 by 6 1 by 6 and then q is 5 by 6 and again one more q which is 5 by 6 which is equal to the 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 and 2 factorial is 2 into 1 into 1 by 6 into 5 by 6 into 5 by 6 which is equal to 75 by 2 1 6 this is the answer if there is 1 6 and 2 non 6 numbers the third possibility is p of x is equal to 2 which means there is 2p there is 2 6s and there is 1q this that i told you here right this one is applicable here as well that means p p q can be arranged in three factorial ways and two p's 
can be arranged in two factorial ways so this before starting this you have to write three factorial divided by two factorial and then go with each ones the p is 1 by 6 and another p is another 1 by 6 and q is 5 by 6 which is 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 2 into 1 into 1 by 6 into 1 by 6 into 5 by 6 which is equal to 15 divided by 216 the last one p of x is equal to 3 this is very simple that means all are sixes which is equal to 1 by 6 into 1 by 6 into 1 by 6 which is 1 by 216 yeah so we can write the final answer the probability distribution is x will be 0 1 2 and 3 and p of x is equal to x is equal to when it is 0 we know that the answer is 125 divided by 216 when it is 1 the answer is 75 divided by 216 when it is 2 it is 15 divided by 216 when it is 3 it is 1 divided by 216 that's it this is the answer to this problem Thanks all for watching. Keep watching. If you have any doubts, write it in the comments. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye-bye. See you in the next video.